All right, welcome everyone to the quarterfinals. We've got Aromanova at the top of your screen. We've got Martin at the bottom of your screen. Excited to see this one play out. Now I'm really curious. We've talked about how Sling has not really focused on Sling so far tonight in most of the aggro matchups. It'll be interesting to see if Kira changes that at all, if this is more of a mid-range battle where Sling becomes more powerful, uh, or whether we see the same thing where it's more about the board wipes. We'll have to see how it plays out. Romanova does have a Sling in hand, if that is relevant here. I think Sling is, is definitely better in this matchup. Uh... Okay, so Kira has kind of like this caveat where, of course, Silverblade Intrusion and Bubble Shield both, like, stop sling triggers. But then again, they stop every form of interaction that the the sling deck brings, so I think sling does have a better place in this matchup, but I will say the magic words again that we've said so many times tonight. Hail, storm. <laughs> it's one word, but magic words, whatever. <laughs> Hailstorm kind of just grabs everything except for Siddhiti and Roland, if I'm uh, remembering correctly. Alright, gonna be tacking in for two. Lifesteal here with the Smuggler. Not the fastest start in the world, and here comes that Sling with the Face Age's protection. Oof, man, just... Yeah, just seeing this, seeing these new stats and these new words on this Lord Stairs Tower just doesn't doesn't feel right. <laughs> yeah, the number five, meh. It really Get stands it out, out doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, and the sling into Rust, that's going to take care of that smuggler. And eh, that's going to be a little tough. I don't like Martin's position right now. I mean, you do have the Annihilate, you've got the Valkyrie Enforcer, but no units, no pressure, and a Romanova having both the sling and the face Aegis. Seems like a tough I think position notably, for Martin. There's no way to deal with the sling from yeah. Martin. Yep. Yeah. Here comes second copy of Roast. Martin's got the pause for the intrusion, but not going to fire that off here. Now facing down two Roasts. Yeah, this is pretty rough. I don't... Like, at least the uh, the chump blockers from Stayer's Tower actually something now against this board. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that then, is you're true, not, you're but... Too hot. That doesn't that doesn't accomplish overly too much, right? Nope. All right, we got got Valkyries out there. We can chump block theoretically, although not like a Romanova doesn't have permafrost, permafrost, permafrost torch in hand. So if if my, if Romanova wants to get through, they can. Yeah. Just depends on how many resources you want to spend. Gonna show into a dazzle, filling up that hand cam as <laughs> as full as it'll go. Thanks to Romanova, and we're gonna see the active now. Just one permafrost here to make sure that that dies. Can't get the double chump block. No use in chump blocking for Martin because that site's going down one way or the other. Yep. Yeah, this looks pretty bad. Yeah, and even you know, silver blade intrusion and bubble shield, just the. It's crazy how wide those two cards, the, the effectiveness of those cards can go. Sometimes you see Bubble Shield and Intrusion, and it's just, wow, this is so incredibly busted. And it really turns the game around when you hit Akira with like the perfect amount of time. But in, now you look at them in this hand, and you're like, these cards are completely useless. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's kind of like the, the... This deck very much can draw the wrong half of the deck. Yeah. Going to use one of the Annihilates. Take care of one of those Ross, the one that has been silenced. So that's going to be a permanent kill there. But second sight going down. But a Romanova well, no, is still really. flush with action here. Yeah. He just. He's... Oh, okay. That. No, it doesn't do anything. No. Like, not... There's just no targets for the Suffocate. No, which... no targets at all for the Suffocate, so it's a dead card. Yeah. And then a Romanova just has so many options. Yep. Going to play out the third roster here. That's going to take care of, well, theoretically, going to force the Intrusion, but would have taken care of the Roland. Martin's going to use that to keep the Roland alive this turn, but 
as we said before, I mean, that's good value. I mean, it protects the Roland this turn. It kind of stops any attacks from Romanova's side. It can't be permafrosted. Gives you a 3 3 Valkyrie out of it. Mm. I don't I, understand I think, that attack, but that's okay. I think I also would have, like, preferred to bubble shield here because the silver blade intrusion at least has some more value as like if you do need to chomp look mm -hmm. you can yeah i mean i guess now you have the bubble shield open for this permafrost but yeah. mm. all right martin gonna attack through that was an effective turn for martin that time I, I'm still is, I'm still it, worried that they're heavily outmatched right now, but at least that was a turn for them to kind of buy a little this, time this, and develop. This is some f mediocre flying beats. <laughs> That's true. Now, yeah, I mean, what is the uh, what's? Oh, they don't have uh, the other guy. What's the guy ruffian? No, what's the um, what's the one drop that? I forget that. Uh, yeah, forget trick shot ruffian. ruffian. Yeah, yeah. Trick shot. Um, that would be seven right now. Six, seven. I mean. Uh, before okay. the Kenna, that would have been close yeah. to lethal there. Yep. The Kenna kind of stops the... Uh, oh, yeah. no, because there's, there's an Enforcer. So still mediocre flying beats. <laughs> That's true. Still <laughs> mediocre flying beats. Tamaris here oh. is going to get shifted. <laughs> That's going to take care of nothing. It's just going to deal nothing. one. Nothing, yeah. All right. Another copy of Denouncer. I mean, Martin's down to eight. Is there any way that Martin can turn this around... I'm pretty sure you have to, like, set up for lethal next turn, right? Yeah. So, if you're attacking for six, that puts Roman well, Nova this is, on This eight. is still uh, somebody sick, right? This one? Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you can put Roman Nova on ten. Wait, ooh. Is that actually lethal? Yeah, because you enforce yeah, the flyer. Yeah, next turn, but... But you need no, to chump block. you need block. to chump block, though, is the problem. You need to so chump you... block with two things. So they're at nine. So you would still need one more damage. Also, I mean, a Romanova has a full grip. I don't know how aggressive Martin's going to oh. be with <laughs> not blocking. Oh, okay, yeah. I, I, I was so into, like, the lethal puzzle, I almost forgot that a Romanova has a hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Romanova has a card hand of eight cards. <laughs> Including a, a Joe here. And I actually had a torch as well, but yeah, I'm gonna take care of the Roland, gonna attack in, force Martin to block, go down to four. Needs a. Are there any hits at all, Suffocate, in Nova's deck? I, I don't think so. Look at this sweet Hojin, though. Ooh. Love that sweetheart. No, I don't think there's any hits in the entire deck. <laughs> yeah, now it's yeah, just no more blocks. Torch to the face, not even gonna need it. Just damage to the face off of Tamara's the torch. We've seen more torches to the face tonight than I think we've seen in <laughs> months of Eternal. <laughs> yeah. And they've all been from Sling, not the aggro decks. <laughs> that is just oh, true. God. They've been from Sling, you're right. All right, Romanova going to take the first game here. Remember, these are all best of three, including the finals. Yeah, I don't know. Sling looks good right now. This seems like a tough matchup for Kira as well. Although, to be fair, that yeah. wasn't. It's not like that was a great Kira draw. Didn't really hit the pieces. I'm not sure if a if a good Kira draw would have done a lot against that either, though. See, I was going to pull up both the back tables as well as that deck list. I, I can't imagine there's anything. I can't even think of what card a Romanova would be playing in that deck that would get hit by. <laughs> like, because they don't even play Smuggler. Ah, Crafty, right, so. Crafty Occultist. There you go. Oh, yep, 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 yep. You're right. Absolutely you right. All right, there is one. We were wrong. Oh. Crafty, Crafty Occultist does. That means Know Thy Enemy is a dead card as well. Mm -hmm. Except for maybe, like, grabbing a Kira out of your deck. but mm -hmm. Right. Uh, looks like backup matches. Boxer and Alex Fierro are tied one game apiece going into game three. That's the only result so far.
All right, Martin's got that early Hojin, so that's pretty good. But Romanova's hand is Hailstorm, Hailstorm, <laughs> Crafty, Sling of the Chi, Roast. Yeah, that double Hailstorm is going to be very bad for Martin. Also, Martin not even going wide enough for Romanova to even have to play that out. And also drew a torch for the turn, too. Oh, oh my no. So Roman yeah, that's a rough to get to go out. Oh, sorry. Go. <laughs> Romanova was able to get the sling out. Like the pressure was so light for Martin at that point that Romanova could just take the turn off, play the sling, and still has all the removal whenever they need to deploy it. Oof. At least this fetcher dodges like <laughs> a hailstorm. Yeah. Does, doesn't doesn't dodge a lot of the rest. <laughs> Yeah, the Kenna, I, I, now that Kenna is going to take out that Hojin cleanly, uh, Romanova might have a starting hand with two Hailstorm and not even have to deploy them. Yeah. We're, we're taking bets. Is, is a Romanova even going to play out a Hailstorm this match, <laughs> this game? Hmm. Hmm. I, I, think, I think they are, because uh, uh, there is a chance that Martin plays out some stuff. Oh, wait. Meh. Maybe not. Maybe they just... Maybe Martin dies before he can... Oh... Also, if if there is a hailstorm played, it'll be both hailstorms played most likely because all of Martin's units are going to be growing in his deck right now. Right, right, it's true. Not looking likely right now though. Romanova's got seven power in the air, seven attack in the air. This seems like a terrible match. The more the more and more I look at this, this seems like an absolutely terrible matchup. <laughs> yeah. All right, there's a big Akaria. Well, bigger Akaria. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> can't, can't, you can't say big Akaria. It's not a big Akaria. <laughs> All right, five cost Lord Stayer's Tower. Going to get a pair of Valkyrie here. It's got some chump blockers. See how, see how it aggressive is. a Romanova starts getting here. Now, Romanova notably was stuck on four power, just drew their Cobalt Waystone for a fifth power. It is slightly unsettling to see the Lord Stayer's Tower, like, uncentered. Yeah, I was just going to comment on it, and then I was like, no, I don't need to say it. Everyone can see it. I don't wanna, <laughs> if you're not seeing it, I don't want to call attention to it. But yeah, the uncentered Lord Stayer's Tower is driving me nuts, too. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what that's about, but... <laughs> Somebody file a bug report because that's bugging me. <laughs> Bubble shield yep. to draw for Martin. Not really going to help here. I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to talk down Martin's game plan at all. I mean, he's doing good work here. He's got an active site attacking with this Fetya. Got his Fetya down. It just seems like seems like a Romanova has everything going the way that a Romanova wants it to go with extra cards in hand. And if anything goes wrong, can deal with it. But, yeah. I mean... Not bad here. Like, not not in bad position. Trying. Stabilizing as best as Martin can, I think. Well, that's not bad, actually. Getting the smuggler. Yeah, but bad. there's still the double hailstorm, right? Right. Cast into shadow, yeah. pristine light, region stream, Diesel's office. And a roll in. Ooh, I that, mean, ooh. all right. That actually shuts down double hailstorm it as does. an option. It sure does. This is actually not bad. <laughs> yeah. Big Frost, though. Big Frost is going to, oh, because of the two slings, double. can just kill the yeah. roll in because of the double trigger and take out the site. And, that, and that's what that's what we got to remember, too, when you're looking at this matchup, is even as Martin stabilizing, a Romanova still has two copies of sling out. <laughs> yeah. So... If anything looks like it's at parity, it's not really because those two cards, and this is I think maybe the first time all night where that actually matters is those copies of Sling are gonna keep a Romanova in this game. Down as long as six. he can trigger it, often enough. yeah, as long as he can trigger it down to six, and you know still stuck at five power, so can't play out like either of these shows. This Tamara's can play a Kenna, Kenna and a Torch. Although Kenna's just a four five. So yeah, I think we're just gonna see the double hailstorm time. Oh no, just 
So no, you can't. Doesn't no. have enough power. So just hailstorm, torch, permafrost. Got to do it the hard way. Ooh, hmm. that's a big Kira. It is. Is it better to Diesel's office though? Martin agrees with you. <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't think it's the site. I think it's this uh, avatar. Because like Diesel's office is off center too. But, card off the but side. it has to be the site though. Because there's a line down the center of the battlefield. No, I know. I'm saying I think it's. I don't think it's caused by tower. I think it's caused by this avatar is what's doing it mm. to the sites. Right. Yeah. All right. Can I get another big Roland? Romanova did hit the sixth power. Gonna shift out of Tamaris. Deal one damage to everything. Draw a pair of cards at the end of turn. How about another card thanks to another Joe? Three copies of Joe's in hand. I know I've made the comment already that it feels like we're playing 2019 Eternal, but how about three copies of Joe in hand? <laughs> <laughs> All right, going to get threatened to give plus two onto the Hidden Road Smuggler here, but going to play out a huge Kira and a huge Roland. Fully powered up Kira too at nine Justice Influence. A Romanova also missing power again, so still stuck at six. That's really hurt them this game. Is this actually like. Ugh, is Martin going to get this? I, I think so. It, I'm coming around on Martin actually stabilizing and coming back and winning this. I, I, Romanova, it's not that they don't have things to do, it's just that they don't have power to really deploy everything and then. They've used most of the removal, so you got another Hailstorm, but that doesn't do anything. You've got a Kenna, but that doesn't do anything. <laughs> you can shift to Tamaris, that doesn't do anything. Got yeah, this nine is cards game. in hand with nothing to do. Yeah. Just going to pass the turn and draw. And yeah, Martin's going to take this one. That's incredible. You know, that Svetya making all those units big was really huge. Yeah. Wow. And the Romanova struggling on power there at just the worst time. I mean, you hate to say somebody who has seven power is getting screwed on power, but if you watch that <laughs> game, that, that is kind of what happened. Just long enough, though. I mean, credit to Martin for closing the door there and stabilizing and going that aggressively. So, well done. Going to force it to a game three. Update from your back tables. You've got Jez2718 taking a 2-1 to one over Alexandros Gray. So the winner of this match will be taking on Jez2718. Then on the bottom side, you've got The Boxer taking a 2-1 over Alex Fierro. So that Praxis aggro deck just couldn't get there, unfortunately, against Sling. That deck's cool, but couldn't yeah. get past the Sling Menace today. I mean, it's it's the Hellstorm game. <laughs> yep. All right, Martin looking here at a hand of two bubble shields and a promo Hojin. Gonna toss that one back. Ooh, this hand is terrible. Unfortunately, yep. this hand is way worse. Gonna go down to six. Four power and double Saditi. Wow. That is also okay, a rough was, hand. Those are some of the worst draws I've ever seen out of the out of the Kira decks. Yikes. Romanova on the other hand, four power, permafrost, torch, and rost. <laughs> Unfortunately for a Romanova, there's gonna be no targets for their cheap removal. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> well, I spoke too soon. Here's a Kira off the top. Oh, <laughs> probably gonna wait though i well no just gonna play it out there interesting i don't know that's tough because if you don't do it if you don't play it out what are you doing just not playing anything to the board but i feel like you you gotta know that aroma has removal so waiting so you could justice etchings or protect it i, I don't know that's tough i don't want to yeah, i don't want to be sitting tough. in that position <laughs> yeah torch gonna take out that kira smuggler off the top will give martin a turn three play Does he have to have... Oh, he has a Regent's Tomb. He does have a Regent's Tomb. You know what you lose in the Argentport version? Is you lose the uh, the Huru site. Yep. The palace. Yep, palace. Yep. Um, 
Palace is just so That's busted in some matchups. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Regent's Tomb probably plays a similar role, but it's not the exact same. Yeah, Regent's Tomb is more like just disruptive. Yeah. Justice etchings here. I, Martin, it's gonna want to get to five to be able to play out one of these onslaughted Sididis next turn. Transpose. Gonna stop the action yep. from the Regent's Tomb. All right, Aromanova has five power. They've got Kenna. Turn to seed, Rost, Permafrost. So much disruption in this Sling build. And I can see what Lights Out Ace was saying about this is a different version of Sling. Yeah. It looks to have a lot more of the, the a lot more early game. Yeah, removal and, and disruption. Yeah. Of course, Obstructive Flicker is just an insanely good card as well. I'm actually sure if Nova's version was running Obstructive Flicker. I'm not sure if all of them were. Mm -hmm. I think all of TRS is probably running the same version. Right, yeah. yeah. Or at least most similarly. All right, here comes that Sling of the Chi here after getting that cannon permafrosting, that first CDT. Valkyrie Enforcer is going to come down. It's going to silence the Kenna. It's also going to give Martin an option for getting some onslaught at the action here although it's less good with the face ages it's just going to pop a face ages really yeah i don't think martin has a way to really force to pop the face ages before that so it's mostly just going to be a, a six six flyer i wonder if martin i know we already said martin was not playing the trick shot ruffian in the market i wonder if martin's not playing it at all I don't remember seeing it. Yeah, no trick shot ruffian at all. Not that it's the most impactful card, but we saw last game, or you know, more of the game before, a couple flyers and some option for winning through the air. I just always I like having that emergency hard. backup plan of, hey, I've got a flyer that can get through. Let's <laughs> make it twelve power and end the game. Yeah, and I think maybe, and and this is just like <laughs> some wild can actually do this but maybe even just having like the trickshot ruffian in the market as an option and and just something like that that ghost form on a on a sigil or something or even just something that makes unblockable anyway just something to get through Seems, some damage yeah because yeah. it's not it's not um right. it's not uncommon to see hurakira get some early damage and then get in a position where <laughs> they just need to get something through to win <laughs> yeah and being in shadow like you're in shadow anyway so yeah yeah True. All right, Hailstorm going to be basically a one-for-one one to take care of the Sakaria, but a Romanova's fine with that because you've got the active sling, you've got a Rost out, you've got a Kenna drawing cards. Ooh, this Pristine Light. Yeah, you got a Pristine Light. Ooh. Would you Saditi first so that you can actually get the Onslaught so that you, you like kind of get your other Saditi out of the permafrost? Yeah. It's aggressive, but it's a good play. Turn Ooh. to seed, unfortunately, going to knock both of those. Turn those Saditi's into seeds. Ooh, no I was chump. going down to one. Yeah, no chump block there by Martin with that seed is interesting. Hailstorm going to take him out just for good measure. All right. Gonna force the hand on the pristine light here. But Dazzle's gonna <laughs> take care of that, and Aroma Nova is headed to the top four. Well done, Aroma Nova. Well played. All right. Congratulations, Aroma Nova.